In 1978, Anatoly Bugorsky was working late at the U-70 synchrotron particle accelerator outside Moscow. The most powerful particle beam in the Soviet Union ran through that machine. Safety protocols required multiple checks before anyone entered the beam chamber. But a malfunction indicator light had broken. Anatoly assumed the beam was off. He leaned over the equipment to inspect a faulty component. A proton beam moving at nearly the speed of light passed directly through his skull. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns, but felt nothing. No pain, no sound, just light. The beam entered behind his left ear and exited through his nose. It was narrow as a pencil, but carried enough energy to boil water instantly. Anatoly calmly finished his shift and went home. By morning, the left side of his face had swollen beyond recognition. Soviet doctors had no idea how to treat him. Nobody had ever survived this. His skin peeled off in sheets where the beam had passed. The bone beneath was exposed, smooth as polished glass. But he didn't die. The beam had burned a path through his brain tissue so quickly it cauterized as it destroyed. Half his face became permanently paralyzed. He lost hearing in one ear. Seizures started and never stopped. But his intellect remained intact, his memories untouched. He finished his PhD, worked for decades more. Soviet authorities classified everything about the accident for 13 years. When the story finally leaked, Western scientists couldn't believe it. One man had taken 200,000 rads directly to the brain, a dose that should have killed him in hours. Instead, he lived another 41 years with a tunnel of dead tissue running through his head. Sometimes surviving isn't about strength. It's about physics moving faster than biology can react.